Hello my friends, super excited. I have a treat for you today. Not only do you get me, well you get the hubby. You get me too. This is Ryan Lee, my handsome husband. All right, babe, what are we talking about today? Today we're talking about how to turn a bad day into a good day. Have you ever been in a bad mood and you can't get out of it and you really want to and you're just in that funk, some negativity, something happened and it's just really eating your insides? You wanna do something about it? Well, that's what today's topic is all about. We believe that there are no bad days, there are only bad moments. So the goal is to take a bad moment, which is totally okay, and flip it around and turn it into a better, more positive, more great uh, emotional state or feeling. So the idea is that things happen to us, right? Life shows up, you can have the all good that. intentions for a great day, and then a lock box isn't installed, or you get a flat tire, or somebody cuts you off in traffic, right? And you can be so pissed, and then you get to the grocery store, and you're mad in line, and you get home, and you take it out on your kids. Or you can say, wow, that person really must have somewhere to go. I hope they get there safely. That really pissed me off for a second. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna let it ruin my day, because again, you don't have to have a bad day. That was just a bad moment. And you have the power to choose what the rest of your day turns into. So for me, it's taking a breath first before I react into the super negative. Someone steals your parking spot. You can either ruin the entire rest of your day and week thinking about how they took your primo parking spot, or you can take a breath and think they must be in a greater hurry than I am. Right. Oh, look, I got two legs that work great. I could use the exercise. Let's park over here. Totally. And I mean, reality is when you park a little further away, when you take the stairs, you get that hot body you've always been looking for. Oh, nice. You're welcome. Yeah. You're Here's way your more attractive now because of where <laughs> you're you park. You're hot. Yeah. All right. What's next? Uh, defend your happiness. Yeah. Uh, that's kind of the, the general topic of this. Defend your happiness. Don't let someone taking a parking spot they didn't even know you were waiting for ruin your entire day. Your happiness is worth more than that to you, your family, your friends, everyone around you. Defend it. I'll defend your and now, happiness. And now, how? Thank you so much. <laughs> and now, how specifically? Here's the first one. Smile. Even if you don't feel like it, the act of smiling releases endorphins and physically makes you happier and in a better mood. So good example of this, I was brand new in real estate. I had never sold a house and I learned in this awesome class called Bold, smile before you dial. Mm -hmm. Smile before you dial. Every so, time. I'm Anytime so nervous. Anytime you're about to make a phone call, force yourself to smile first, yeah. even if you're not in a great mood, and they will hear your smile on the other end they of the really phone. They really can. They can tell and they're more receptive to what you're saying because they hear that you're in a happy mood, even if you're you will be by smiling. And you just take a deep breath and you smile and then you pick up that phone. And you and it made my call so much easier mm -hmm. because I started out positive and I just I feel like it's such a powerful thing to smile. And there's I, I don't know there's thousands of muscles in your face. At least and hundreds. when you smile, there's millions of muscles in your face. You know he's the numbers Fact. guy. I just say stuff. <laughs> and it's it makes a difference. And when you walk around, like I am the person when I am in New York City and everyone's wearing black and they're kind of angry, I'm like, Hi, I'm from California. Hi. Hi. <laughs> We're gonna make like, you day better. I'm kinda creepy. <laughs> also, I have some friends, so people do like me somewhere. It works. It's like you just positivity is addicting and I will tell you that we have been so intentional about making sure we have positive people around us our friendships that we have if we have people who are like gosh you guys why do you want such a big life oh you travel all the time why are you always doing this we're like oh okay I don't think we're gonna be able to be long-term friends because when you're developing into the person you want to be and you start leading your life at a high level and you start to have this positivity like at your core like who you are you desire to have positive people around you. And so people always say like, oh, the right people come in my life and the wrong people leave. Well, actually we think of it differently. We say the right people leave your life, which is just right. the flip side of the same thing. They don't align with the person you're becoming. And so really like as you go on this personal development journey that we've been on, we realize like it's not about who we are now, it's about who we're going to become. And the difference between who we are now and who we're gonna become are these small choices, these small good consistent choices. But it's like, you never know what smiling could do for someone else's day. And maybe True. they're having the worst day and they walk by and you're smiling you, and they're you've like- heard of the butterfly yeah. effect? Um, the tiny little thing that happens over here can affect something huge on yeah. the other side of the world. Well, it's like that. Your, your smile, <laughs> 
I can affect someone on the other side of the world. Yeah. So keep the positivity flowing. Which brings us to the next thing that you can do yeah. immediately to change your bad moment from becoming a bad day. It's called a power pose. It's taking a huge breath, it's opening up your chest, it's head up, it's chest up, and it's, it's making yourself as big as you can be to claim your space in life. And when you do that, when you do a power pose, stuff happens on the inside, kind of like with your face when you smile, and it makes you happier, it makes you more confident, it makes you feel better yeah. immediately. And even like you can, you can come up with a mantra within your power pose. Like I always talk about, like I literally say, I release, I release, I release, because I wanna release this negative energy that's inside of me and release it out to the universe so it dissipates and it's gone. And then nice I move forward, thanks, I figured you'd like it. Dissipates. Ryan has the biggest vocabulary ever. Whenever I use a big word, I'm like, someone's slain it alive. Negativity dissipates, <laughs> positivity attracts. Okay, what about... Um, oh, the next one? Mindset reset. Mm -hmm. uh, Rachel taught me this one uh, through real estate stuff. And basically something bad happens. Oh, I'm really angry. It's okay that you're angry. Uh, revel in it for seconds or minutes and then do something about it. Try the smiling, try the power pose. Here's what we do with the mindset reset. You do something physical. You know, it started out actually in the real estate world because I run the real estate team on the sales side, right? So I'm still in production selling houses and someone calls me and they're like, God, the sign's not there, I'm so frustrated or the appraiser can't get into the house or whatever. And I used to be like, oh my gosh, everyone's upset with me. My world is challenging, Every the sky is falling. And then I bring that energy to my team and that's not good for anybody. So I needed to come up with something that was like, boom, I can do it and all of a sudden it resets. But you're reset and then all of a sudden you can move forward and get back on track. And so um, mine that I came up with is actually called the two P's and it stands for push up and prayer. So when I'm having a rough time, I will literally get called out by somebody. In fact, my team will be like, Rach, right. whoa, What's girl. What's with your energy? Are you okay? Are you right. upset? Mindset reset. And she's like, oh yeah, I need to do a mindset reset. Right. So she literally gets down, does a bunch of push-ups, probably a thousand. I do 10. I can't do a thousand. Okay, the the activity is important. Do something yeah. physical that gets your blood flowing and your, and your heart rate, uh, sorry, your uh, breathing rate up, because that helps a lot, does a lot to your body too, makes you feel better. And then what do you do? Prayer. So mine is push-ups and prayer. And all I do is I get on my knees and I ask God to grant me the grace to move forward because it is so, it's just, it, it eats away at you if you constantly have like little negativity, little negativity, little negativity, and then your whole day is ruined. So what we found is to have something physical and something emotional or connected that you can do where all of a sudden it's like physical, mental, <sighs> You can give God through prayer the negativity and he will dissipate it for you. Good word. Thanks. <laughs> Which brings us to the last thing that and you can do. And my favorite, my very, very my favorite. My favorite too. This one's awesome. If you haven't been taking notes, write this one down. Yeah, put it on your mirror. The premise is this. You cannot be angry and grateful at the same time. Say it again. Try it. It's impossible. Say it a little slower. You, Let it sink in for them. You cannot be angry and grateful at the same time. Bring it home. Just kidding, I don't so know what that means. If, when you are angry and you don't want to be anymore, think of the things you're grateful for. Yeah. Write them down. Start with three, then go to five. Maybe you need to think of the top 100 things that you're most grateful for in life right now. However many it takes until you're actually feeling the gratitude of what you're writing, your anger is gone. And any other negative emotion that you had is gone because you're in a state of gratefulness. And this is free. Totally. You don't have to pay anything for this awesome feeling of gratefulness. You can turn any negativity into positivity through these exercises. And that last one's my favorite. In fact, challenge every single morning, write down the three things you're most grateful for. Yeah. Every single morning. What a great way to start the day. Well, because uh, I think too, like you, we usually, we wake up in the morning and we're like, gotta go, gotta do more. What's my task list? How do I need to call? What do I need to do? Bah! And Stress. I know for me, like I, I tend to run at a pretty high vibration. So I, <laughs> I have, this kind of frenetic energy inside of me. And it if I don't check it, it, it goes into everything else I do for the day. And I'm not gonna be, if I'm, if I'm running in a, a state of like negativity or a scarcity mindset, 
it's like I don't treat people as kind. I'm not as patient. I don't make as good of food choices. When someone offers me water, which I know I should be drinking, I'm like, I don't want water right now. I'm too busy. I'm fine. Ah. And it's like that's not good for me. That's not good for our marriage. That's not good for our teams. You know, we have the real estate team and we have the shampoo team, and they look to us to lead by example. And you know, one of the most powerful things, honestly, that Ryan has ever said to me. Ooh, I'm listening. <sighs> So I said to him at one time, I was like, oh my gosh, babe, I'm so overwhelmed. I have this person to call and I have to go to this speaking event and I'm just so slammed and I didn't text this person back and I was like just going about all the frustrations I have and all the overwhelm I'm in. And he was like, hey babe. And I was like, yeah. And he's like, you know that you said yes to all these things, right? And I was like, what? And he's like, you, the reason and like, let this sink in for you guys. Cause this was so big for me. He said, the reason that these things are coming into your life are their opportunities. And the reason they're here is because you show up at life at a high level. You give to others, you, you share with others, you, you know, you play all in at work. And so people are rewarding you with opportunities. You could say yes to any of these and you no. equally can say no. You've and, attracted all of this opportunity to yourself right. and said yes to it. Right. And if it's too much, you could say no to some. All of this is within your control. And really, it's a blessing that you have this many opportunities. So he says, so why don't you take a deep breath? <sighs> Which I'm like the queen of needing Always to take a, a deep idea. breath all day or day. And he was like, why don't you, instead of being um, overwhelmed, why don't you flip that and be grateful? Mm -hmm. Because these opportunities are showing up because of who you are and how you show up in life. And I was like, oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> so we just wanted to come on and hang out with you guys for a minute and share a lot of, just some nuggets, I guess, that have been important yeah, and impactful is really in our lives. For, and we like to hold each other lives. when we bring it home. Oh, here's another little final tidbit. If you walk into a conversation with people talking and they are negative, Oh, reason, humans often like to share complaints so in their good. negative. Walk in, oh. and if you hear any negativity, say, "Oh my goodness, what's great about that?" <laughs> or some version of that. It's like a showstopper. They're like, "Who the what? heck is this guy?" Yeah. Oh, and what is your favorite part about whatever they were just talking about? It really twists the conversation. So literally, someone can be positivity. like so frustrated talking about how difficult their marriage is and all these mm -hmm. things. And oh, what do you like best like, about your wife? Yeah. And they're like, huh? I'm complaining. What? Oh, wow. Or like, okay. my job sucks. I'm so frustrated. We're like, but what's great about that? Yeah. You have a job. A lot of people don't have a job. So. And it pays your bills, right? Yeah. And, and, and. And they're like, yeah, actually, it is pretty nice. Oh, great. <laughs> hey, guys. Thanks for watching us today. We are grateful that you were here. We are. And as always, I just wanted to share a little bit of what I've learned, a little bit of what our journey looks like in this beautiful life that we get to lead. Hopefully you got some value out of it and it adds some goodness to your business, to your life. And As always, you know where to find us. We're on the Facebook. She's on the Facebook. We're on the Instagram. She's on the Instagram. He gets tagged and stuff. Sometimes I'm in videos. <laughs> Have a good day. Bye bye. That was like Pac-Man. <laughs> gobble, 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 gobble. Can I use yours? I'm gonna say it. Rachel's gonna tell you what she does. <laughs> Too much? Okay, yeah. Okay. okay. That's a reset. That snap. It's a jam, too. I'm feeling reset right now. <laughs> okay, that stopped. So then we're going to give him the close. How'd you know? How'd because you know it stopped? No, I'm just telling you it stopped. Oh, we need one of those things that goes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so. Take five.